Well, hi. My uh, 12-year-old grandson showed me how to use my new iPhone to record videos and send it to uh, YouTube. So I'm giving this a shot. Um, the other night I was giving a message talking about Joseph in the book of Genesis. And I, I mentioned uh, his commitment to purity, how he was falsely accused of sexual immorality and uh, spent some time in prison for it. Of course, he ended up being the second most powerful man in Egypt. But I had mentioned, and I guess I probably should have kept my mouth shut, but I talked about, um, that was shortly after the, uh, the Decade of Difference uh, program for our president, ex-president Bill Clinton. I'd like to call it a decade of decadence, but it's just my opinion. And I brought up the uh, idea that Bill Clinton was a whoremonger in office. Uh, now, I understand that many of our presidents in the past, in, in a time when they did not investigate those kinds of things, uh, many of our presidents were uh, unfaithful to their wives. But there was a day when that really didn't make a difference. The uh, news media was not so anxious to expose wickedness in high places. Uh, they're a lot more uh, diligent about that right now. But I had mentioned how uh, Bill Clinton was uh, immoral. And uh, what would it be like if uh, the people that run our government today had the kind of commitment that Joseph did? And one of the gentlemen in the audience objected and said that uh, Bill Clinton, you know, when he was president, uh, that we made a lot of money and, you know, things were better. And I said, well, that's the problem. I didn't say it that night, but essentially that's the problem. As long as we're making money, everything's okay. Well, in God's eyes, everything isn't okay. And just because you're making money doesn't mean that things are going good. It might be going good for you for a while. But the other foot's going to drop. I live in a city that was at one time controlled by the mafia. And, and a lot of people say, you know, uh, boy, when, when the mafia was in control, things were really good here. Because right now the place is decimated. They're tearing buildings down and it's just a mess. What happened was the, the main industry, Alco Alum, Aluminum Company, moved their uh, plant out of this city. And, uh, of course, lost about 4,000 jobs which devastated the city. But the fact is that there was no moral compass, that uh, the mob ran the place, and they ran it so they'd be able to have crime at will without anybody interfering. Well, when the money stopped and when the people moved out and there was no more lucrative business there for crime, they pretty much you know, moved, uh, changed their headquarters. And the city had nobody to run it because they were so used to uh, the mob taking care of things. There was, no, there was no morality. There was no uh, righteousness. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So uh, the next time you judge, and, and, and you know, I want to say this, I, I, I have not, there has not been a president in the last 25 years or so, or at least really as, as, old, as long as I can remember, there has not been a president that I could point to and say, there was a man of God. There hasn't been one, despite what some people think. Anyway, pray and vote, or if you don't want to vote, don't vote. That's your business. But pray for our nation. And if you're a Christian out there, don't put your eyes on the Democrat Party, Republican Party. Put your eyes on Jesus Christ. He's our only hope. If you're not a Christian, you need to become one. God bless you, and have a great day.